What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. In this video we'll show you guys how to fix all the issues related to ADB drivers, fast boot, Qualcomm drivers because I've been seeing lots of comments that people have been facing issues while flashing stock firmware on their devices or their PC doesn't detect their device in ADB mode or fast boot mode. So in this video we'll cover almost everything. I hope you guys going to like this video. So let's not waste much of time and start with the process. So guys basically this process will fix all the issues related to ADB drivers or your fast boot mode and if you're using unbreak tools to flash stock firmware then just make sure to watch the complete video I hope you won't face any kind of issues after that First of all you need these files all the files can be found in the description below so the major one is ADB setup which is ADB drivers then we have fast boot drivers later followed by Qualcomm drivers which are required if your device doesn't get detected in the unbreak tool Later we also have platform tools. So first of all what you need to do is extract all the zip files. So first we'll start with ADB setup. So here after the latest update from Windows, most users are facing issues in installing ADB drivers. So recently I made a clean installation of Windows on my PC so that I can come up with this video guide on fixing the issues of ADB fast boot or Qualcomm drivers. So let's install ADB drivers first. and let me show you what error people are getting nowadays so soon you run the exe file we get this pop up where it says do you want to install adb and fast boot let's type y and hit enter after that it ask install adb system wide again type y and hit enter so this is the error what people are getting while installing the adb drivers there's a simple fix for this press windows and r key on your keyboard and type this thing which is percentage symbol user profile followed by percentage symbol hit okay and this will open up a windows here just create an folder called desktop you can already see we already have a desktop folder here but it doesn't matter if you create another one so here you can see we have renamed the folder to desktop i mean to say a new folder and now once again start the entire process of installing adb drivers double click follow the on screen instructions type y hit enter again type y hit enter and now you can see we don't get to see that error now four files are successfully copied after that it will ask you to install device driver type y again hit enter a new windows will pop up hit on next another windows will pop up just tap on install and if you see ready to use under status that means you have successfully installed the adb drivers and after that inside c drive we'll have a folder created which is called as adb so now you can check whether your device gets detected in adb mode or not open up command prompt here in the address bar type cmd hit enter and now let's give a command adb devices and if you're doing it for the first time make sure you have enabled usb debugging on your device If you are not aware about enabling USB debugging, go to about section, tap on the build number 7 times. This will enable developer options. Just go to system developer options and from here enable USB debugging. You might get to see a pop up. Just allow the necessary permissions and now on our PC, let's give this command which is adb devices, hit enter. and there you can see serial number of my device appears here that means my device is properly connected in adb mode no issues with the adb drivers anymore so this way you can install adb drivers on your pc running windows 10 or windows 11 whatever you have it on your pc now let's move on to the fast boot drivers so first let me open up command prompt once again and show you guys whether my device gets connected in fast boot mode or not first i'll reboot the device in fast boot mode For that again what you can do is from developer option you can enable advanced reboot then long press the power key you'll get these three dots on the right top corner tapping on it will give you an option of bootloader let's reboot a device to bootloader which means fast boot mode so a device successfully booted into fast boot mode i have already connected the cable now let's give a command fast boot devices and hit enter so here you can see We don't get to see anything over here in the command prompt that means fast boot drivers are not properly installed. To install fast boot drivers open up device manager first 
and soon you open up the device manager here you can see under other devices we have an option of android but you get to see this yellow triangle now what you have to do is right click and tap on update drivers but before that make sure you have extracted the fastboot drivers zip file so let's right click update drivers select the second option which is browse my computer for drivers and after that tap on browse locate this folder which is fastboot drivers just locate select the main folder and make sure you have enabled include subfolders that's it tap on ok and hit next so there you can see we have successfully installed android bootloader interface now if you take a look in the device manager we don't have any triangle under android phone now let's check in the command prompt by typing fastboot devices and hit enter and there you can see the serial number of my device appears here that means our pc now started to detect a device in fastboot mode or you can say fastboot drivers have been properly installed so these are the two ways by which you can install adb drivers and fastboot drivers and now let's move on to the next topic which is installing qualcomm drivers so again unzip the file open this folder and here you'll have a setup file just double click on this run the setup select the first option from here hit next next agree to terms and conditions next and tap on install so now we have also installed the qualcomm usb drivers after that it will ask you to restart your pc make sure to restart the pc soon after you install the drivers and before restarting the device here you can see this is the msm tool or you can also call it unbrick tool and this doesn't detect my device so i'll tell you how to fix that also first let's exit and restart a device once because we have recently updated the qualcomm drivers and after installing qualcomm drivers it is required to restart the device so now we are done with the successful reboot of a pc so first let me open up again device manager along with this let's also open up the msm tool aka unbrick tool and still here you can see after the reboot also we don't get to see anything under index or com now let's connect a device into emergency download mode which is also called as edl for most of the oneplus devices combination is you just need to hold volume up and down key first make sure your device is powered off and you have sufficient battery on your device after that you need to press and hold volume up and down key together once you press and hold the keys then connect the cable to your device now under device manager you will have an option of ports where it says qualcomm usb qd loader 9008 and if you don't start the flashing process the device starts to boot up so for once you guys need to connect your device in edl mode and after that close the msm tool and reopen it after you reopen you will also see the list of your device which you had connected previously there you can see under com it says com3 index 1 status of connection na now once disconnect the cable again press and hold the volume keys and connect the cable and there you can see under status now it says connected just hit on start and there we go unbrick process have been started now and i've also seen most of the users gets that sahara communication error so guys just make sure your all the drivers are up to date like fastboot adb and qualcomm if you have all these things up to date then you won't face any kind of issues in using msm tool and with the help of msm tool you guys can fix any of your oneplus phones until unless there is an hardware damage Also guys if you face any kind of issues installing Qualcomm drivers or fastboot drivers on your PC then make sure to turn off digital signature and that can be done just by going to settings from here select recovery option and from here boot a PC into advanced startup mode just by tapping on restart now once you tap on restart you'll get these options from where you have to select troubleshoot advanced options startup settings and again tap on restart 
After that, you will see these options where you can see we have the seventh option which says disable driver signature enforcement. And to select these things, we need to use the function keys. As it's on the seventh number, we'll tap F7 on the keyboard and that will disable the driver signature. And this you need to do only when you are not able to install Qualcomm drivers or fastboot drivers. If without disabling digital signature, things are fine, then no need to make changes in the startup settings. So guys, this is a single video where you can find all the fixes related to ADB, Fastboot, Qualcomm and even disabling digital signatures from your Windows PC. I hope you guys will like this video and also share it with your friends. So guys, as of now only this much in this video. I hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.